I do a kick, I want my knee, especially a round kick and a growing kick. Matter of fact, a growing kick is just a round kick going straight out, same kick. I want my knee to be pointing at my target. I want my knee to be pointing at my target. So on uh, one of the, if to every drill, the way we practice, Pramaga or self-defense, there are some flaws to it, okay? There has to be flaws to it in order to train safe. Um, so one of the flaws is level one, two, three, you know, normally when I'm finishing the fight, I'm here. You know, bang, 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 bang! Right? What am I doing here? Who am I hitting? Nobody. I'm missing. When I get to my, uh, uh, at my level four classes, they come in. I say, all right, I actually want you to put your hands on your opponent. And I want you to try to hit them, but hit them soft. Most of them can't do it without missing. You know why? Because level one, two, and three, they've been missing. They have practiced missing their whole problem of God career. So I say hit, they go, oh shit, I can't do it. Okay? Well, not only do you acknowledge that in your head, then you kind of can, you know, um, uh, mentally know that, okay, normally I'll be hitting. You have to acknowledge those flaws. Another flaw is the kick. We go growing kick. Bang. The problem with this, in order for me to miss my target, my knee is not going up high enough. So most people, they got these nice kicks, they go, shh, shh, shh. I'm like, you're not really hitting anything. Because your knee has to be facing up in order to hit your target. So when you hold the tombstone, when we practice, a lot of times we're practicing the same way we do it when we're missing. And my knee is not passing the target. As a matter of fact, I'm actually doing damage to my knee because I'm hyperextending. My knee wants to pass the target and point to his face. Now, bang, I can kick, and I never fully extended my leg, because my knee stayed going up, as opposed to here. Make sense? Yeah. Your body will last a lot longer, too. Right? So, another thing I want you to do is, somebody asked me a quick question, what do you hit with your top instep or your, your shin? I said both, but right now, you're gonna hit with your top instep. You're gonna get as far away from the pad as you can and still kick it. So if I'm here, I can get a little further. I might get a little further. The reason why I want to do that, I want to force you, force you to use your hips. Okay? If I'm this far away, boom, I miss. If I'm this far and I use my hips, I hit my target every time. Just like a mirror and ball on this day, the difference between this and this, slight, slight um, modifications. Make sense? So get down to your partner, you're going to do a couple more times, 